Well, you made a post about Will Smith. Which, oh, about the emancipation thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about, uh, you know, the interviewer brought up the whole slapping thing yes. and so forth. And you said, oh, my fucking God, it is not that damn serious. They act like this man blew up a pet shop full of kittens. Right. Why even mention it's old news? Plus, they know the black community is in such a rush to see another slave movie. Right. Well, Will seems like he's back, though. I mean, we'll see how this movie does. Yeah, I love but, how everyone acted as if, like I said, that's why it wasn't like he blew up a nursery. It was on a question of time. It would simmer down and he'd be back. And, you know, uh, what he did, it was extremely forgivable. Uh, you know, he didn't kill nobody. He didn't assault anybody, he, a woman. He did, he no, no, I, I, I meant to say it. No, but what I'm, no, no I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that. I mean, okay. sexually assault a woman. Right. Uh, that is true. You know, uh, so there it is. You know, do, do you see a problem? You know, when you said another slave movie, don't you think that it's somewhat of a positive that they continuously make high budget slave movies to just remind people what happened? No, but the point is, we have other stories to tell. The stories. Well, it's not well, like that's the only black movies that are being made. I, I know, but but to constantly you know profit off of our trauma and our pain those movies we we know those movies exist they're out there we've made an abundance of those there are so many more interesting stories we could tell autobiographical stories about uh black entrepreneurs and 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 black leaders and 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 black su success stories and you know there's just other aspects of our culture well, that, that we could talk about and, and i agree with you and if those were the only movies or the majority of the movies that were made, I, I, I would say that's an extremely good point. But but here's what I think happens, right? I think, well, think about this. I just don't want to see Will Smith try to do another accent. Okay. Because the last concussion, tear the truth. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? You and I grew up learning about slavery and, and being very aware of, of what happened and so forth. But before the movie Roots came out, slavery was sort of t tucked under the rug. Roots was a, a comp like when, when Alex Haley started to write the, the short stories in Reader's Digest that ultimately became the TV series Roots, nobody was actually talking about this. History books in high school, we're not talking about slavery. You know, I mean, white America was really trying to pretend like it never happened. And a lot of white America is trying to still pretend like it, done, like exactly. it never happened. Exactly. So when Roots came out, it was a phenomenon. I mean, in fact, like, I remember the, the, the TV station, ABC or CBS or whoever, didn't even think it was going to do well. And it became a huge hit. And then that opened sort of a floodgate for these types of films and so forth. Like when you look at, when you compare it to, for example, Jewish history, like you had Schindler's List, which was like a very important movie, but you haven't had a lot of Holocaust films. I don't think you've had any Holocaust films since then. And this is why you have the Connies of the world saying the Holocaust didn't really happen. Oh, six million Jews, that, 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 those numbers are inflated. Like, you know, or some people say the Holocaust never happened. And it, it was basically Jews tricking the world to, to get the state of Israel. So when you don't have films that remind people and illustrate these things, people will tend to forget and people will start to rewrite history. That's all I'm saying. So I actually, from I, my I, point I, of view, I, 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 I'm actually supportive of these types of slave movies to get it back in people's faces again. To say, Would you be less supportive of other stories, though? But I'm very supportive of all stories. I told you I love But Friday. all stories aren't being told. Okay. I mean, you had one of the biggest films of the year, Wakanda. That's fiction. Okay, you had, uh, was the warrior, the warrior queen? The woman king. Woman king, sorry. That was an actual story based on actual real events, right? Okay, name another one. Don't go to the computer. Don't go to the computer. <laughs> well, I don't watch that many movies uh, in okay. the theater. You know what I'm saying? But I just named you a big one. That was a big high budget film. Which was recent. Recent. Okay, name me one from last year or the year before, or the year before that. There we go. Attaboy. I mean, name me a, a, a film about Asians that 
Well, we're not talking about Asians. We're talking about <laughs> you us. You know what I'm saying? I, well, we're talking saying, about us, though. I, I'm just saying, or, or Spanish people, or so forth. I mean, I we've, had, really... we've had 12 Years a Slave. We've had Harriet. We've had these movies. We've had Roots. Yeah. We had a remake of Roots. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. All right. Listen, this is, this is ultimately- We've had Selma. We've had- uh, uh, what was that was a slavery that was. No, but it's still just black strife, yeah. trauma. Till just came out. Well, isn't really like some of the best films about trauma and strife? Yeah, but... The best but films are usually about that. The best films are whatever you make them based on writing, production, yeah. direction, performances by the actors. Yes, all that. The script. Yes. The director. Yes. A lot of magic and luck has to go into a great film. I, I, I get it. But me personally, listen, if you want to get things in people's faces, like movies are very powerful, man. Movies are Have very you ever powerful. seen the, the six-part uh, PBS documentary, uh, Eyes on the Prize? I don't think so. Have you ever seen the PBS documentary, MLK Still Our Eyes? I don't remember the last time I watched PBS anything. Okay, have you seen uh, the James Baldwin Netflix documentary, I, do watch uh, that. I Am Your Negro? I watched that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff out there, yeah. but you also have to want to. We can't force white America to look at itself in the mirror. They have to want to. And a lot of white people don't want to. Well, a lot of uh, important black films, like, for example, the Central Park Five. Yes. High budget film. Made mm -hmm. by a black female director. Yep. Uh, a, a Duva a Avery Duva. Uh, Ava Duva. Du yeah, something like that. I'm sorry if I'm messing up her name. Yeah. Uh, you know, won tons of awards. Yeah. Critical acclaim. Put the actual Central Park Five into a celebrity spotlight. Allowed right. them to to do you know various projects and so forth. I think there's a lot of dope projects, man. You know, and I you know listen, I, I probably watch more black cinema than the average white person just because of the business that I'm in. Right. <laughs> just is what it is. Uh, but, you know, I think there's a lot of dope projects that come out. Yeah. A lot. A lot. And um, I'm just know, saying. I'm going to watch. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying we have so many films where we're constantly the victims. Let's have some films where we're the victors. Did you say you don't have that? That's based in fact, not fiction. Every Eddie Murphy film. Fiction. Dolomite. A horrible example. <laughs> Why is that a horrible example? Have you seen the Dolomite I, movies? I watched. Well, horrible. No, I watched. Well, I watched some of the Dolomite original films, which were right. not that great. Horrible. But the Eddie Murphy one was pretty good. Okay. He's and doing a spoof. Was, uh, it's a spoof. It's not really a spoof. I, th I think it was a, kind of an autobiography. I think it was fairly accurate. It, it, I hadn't seen it, but if he did- Oh, when, yo, you haven't watched Eddie right, Murphy? But, no, like? but when you say if it's fairly accurate, then that means it's a spoof. I mean, it showed how low budget the films were. How that, bad that the acting Dolomite. was. Yeah, exactly. You could see the boom mic in the right. shot. <laughs> yeah. Right. He punches the guy and he flies yeah, across the room. Yeah, not quality shit. Right. But- There's a great documentary out right now that you should check out on Netflix called Is This Black Enough For You? And it and it's and it chronicles I think I saw it on my on my on my feed. Yeah, yeah. it chronicles uh black cinema from the uh silent film era all the way till today. Mm. All the way to today. I'll watch it. It's great. I'll watch it.